Oh boy, it's time for Gillum to attempt to explain some secrets and treasure hunting, because now that I got the flutter ability, we got access to certain areas that we did not have capabilities of doing such. I digress. Point is, now that I got the flutter ability, I'm at the Nether Nebula, but, you know, say we go back to the Stronia docks, you know, you can get some Phoenix Downs and some potions, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't care. What I do care about is I got a boulder, gotta smash it. It's the first step to getting access to a secret area. Secondly, flutter ability. Uh, now, if you don't have a mirage that has this ability, you can also run into floating eyes just randomly in battles, so, you know, you, you can totally do that. You can totally get access. It's pretty cool, pretty awesome. Now, you do go into this room. First thing you'll notice is it's basically a series of hallways that branches off to a certain extent, and at the end of every pathway, there's some pretty nice items, much nicer than Phoenix Downs and Potions, I'll tell you that much. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty normal, pretty boring, there's a lot of enemies here. They yield alright experience, which is good, because you could probably level up on them, and they're not that difficult. And also, you're probably going to end up grinding intentionally or unintentionally, so point stands, do what you must, but at the same time, prepare to feel the wrath of mirage hunting because when I say treasure I mean the real treasure is that there's rare mirages in this area oh yeah so you might be wondering what we got well you see you can run into freaks babblers the zeps essentially the mirage that you could have gotten after fighting one of the seven pleiades back back when you did this for the first time Yes, that's right. I got I got the free, so I still need a Zept and a Bablis. Which is unfortunate, because those are the two that have an even lower encounter rate, from my understanding, is from actually doing, having done this. Because free shows up the most out of the three. Bablis shows up the least. So, you're, you know, you're, you're gonna... You're gonna be scratching your head trying to figure out how to do this. It's gonna be just like trying to do the beast hunting from the second generation of Pokemon. I digress. Not the point. We got to set up for it because much like in that generation when you fought the three legendary beasts, they had a tendency of running away. So in order to counter that, grab a Mimic. They have the no escape ability. It's fantastic and it saves you a lot of headaches. Secondly, you're going to need some items, mainly Electro Marbles, Fregisite, bomb fragments, that kind of thing, because it creates the prism tunity that you need in order to capture them. So once you do that, once you get everything in order, once you try hard enough and you're determined enough and you stick with it and you end up getting even more overpowered than you were to begin with, you try a little and you succeed and then you can go home happy having caught these rare mirages, the, mainly the two that you didn't have. And then you're happy. Granted, they're not the star versions, but hey, I can live with that. I have new capabilities and I can fill out the rest of my Mirage dictionary, whatever. You can access that in your room. Anyways, so going forward with everything, there's also the Coliseum. You see, we weren't done with it and it also kind of updates as you progress through the game. But you get a cutscene. I thought we did this already. Hey guys, why isn't Ramu here with you? Whoa, hey, don't go saying Ramu's name out loud like that. Seriously, the old man is all eyes and ears. What kind of hot water are you twerps trying to get us in? And you, what were you thinking saying Ramu? Oops. I heard that you two. Tell me, why would you sneak away? What possessed you? Oh. Uh, well, you know, we were, uh, sort of bored out of our wits. No, look! We were giving Lon and Rain some help with their training. Oh, nice. That is right. We're only thinking of them. You numbskulls. 
There's a reason we must stay in the nebula, and you know what it is. Uh, we're not dumb. The Tri-Elements Barrier, right? We have to maintain it. Come on, it's just one excursion. Dunderheads! Already your little excursion has led to two casualties. What? Don't tell me someone got out! Do you know who it is that escaped? An Ifrit and a Shiva. In both cases, you might say they were your unfairer sex. Ah, right. Just had to be her. He's on the loose? Ugh. This is going to be such a pain in the duff. Hey, you said casualties. You don't mean people. Yeah, they'd have to be. When no one summons us, we have to enter this world the old-fashioned way. It's simple, really. In lieu of an elaborate summoning ritual, we can just use the magic in a human body as our gate. And as for the poor human, well, it's kind of messy. What? The Nether Nebula. Boundaries there are thin. Therefore, the old queen came to us and asked we place a barrier there along the world's fringe. And because these two decided to goof off... Now, people have been hurt. Yeah. Look, we made a big mistake. A colossal mistake, you clods. <sighs> so to sum it up, another Ifrit and Shiva are on the loose and wreaking havoc here in Grimoire, right? Hmm. They may have been waiting for just this chance. If they know our Ifrit and Shiva and how responsible they always are. Well, they're just two mirages. Me and Rain can handle them. We'll find them and teach them a good lesson. That's right. You three return to the nebula. Take care of that barrier. Very well. In that case, we will leave images of ourselves here in this place. So you may continue to train with us as before. Unless you object. Uh, no! You took the words right out of my mouth. Okay. Lon, Rain, see you. Great goblins. They certainly are a handful. A female Ifrit and a male Shiva, right? And just when we thought we'd run out of mirages to collect. Isn't that fantastic? Well, the real reason for all of that is, well, it turns out that we have new matches, new capabilities, new things. So, it's important to go do some of that. I mean, now that you actually got the baby forms of those guys, you can actually, like, have access to evolve them into them. Granted, they're not as good, but still, it's better than nothing. And with all that said, we're gonna move on with the real part of the game. Oh, by the way, I also caught Ramu. Yo, numbskulls. So now that all that side stuff is out of the way, I figure I might as well show off the Seraphone, because, you know, I may have showed this off, but I, I don't remember. And at the same time, it basically just allows you to access your prism case. But there's a reason for it. You see, uh, future rule, you can go into his Marlboro Madness phase now. You know, it's like a hot pink. It's pretty cool. He's got that side of evolution going for him. Uh, also, Gildum, Mirage Gildum, he has like the lead gnome, which is just basically a model swap of the copper gnome. But he also has the uh, chrome giant, which which is pretty cool. Turns him into a more grayish version of all that. Uh, some things I figured I should probably just show off. Oh, by the way, Peepers also has the floating eye and the Araman uh, evolutions available, or at least forms. Maybe I should start calling them forms. It don't matter. Anyways, uh, yeah, but that that's about it. Completely wasted that Seraphone, but at the same time, at least now you know what everyone can do, or at least a brief summary of, like, anything that comes to mind. Anyways, without further ado, let's just go into the Fiery Chasm. What is this? The Fire Valley 7? I mean, might as well just continue onward, right? And cutscene! Not with the mirages that we've got. I can't take it! 
But I totally could leave her to fend for herself. Actually, no, that, that's I such a... She went back this way, right? Well, I was just gonna say, I probably should go check up on her, because it's such a dickish thing to do. So, I'm gonna I'm do that. I'm gonna go check on her. Oh, that's walkable. I thought I was gonna have to use the frost ability, their chill ability. The frost chill ability. Also, that I, I love that. I love the smash. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, Gildan's gonna be super useful in this section. Also, Piplup. Piplup's totally always useful when it comes to a fiery volcano section. Granted, she also has like the side evolution, which I, I forgot to show that off. Oh, please, piece of cake. Don't let your guard down just because we're stronger. Oh, hey, new Mirage. Might as well go see what that is all about. But since I can't, until now, you know, what we got? There we go. There we go. Let's Libra this thing. Looks like a cockatrice, but it's not. It's a cockadrill. Cockadrill. So if I have flake poison, I can I can capture one. I don't want one. Also, I should probably not have the. Uh, the repeat button because I'm just gonna keep using Libra where I don't mean to so so if I could avoid that that'd be fantastic anyways this guy's not gonna be doing too much I'm too overpowered doing all that side stuff but everything that I've basically worked my way up to I can't be stopped and I'm getting even more powerful I mean, I'm too powerful there's nothing that can stop me at this point this whole place is just a breeze on the other hand, now that I think about it, there is a side thing I can do. I think. This was a dead end. Also, I see where I need to go, but I don't want to quite go there yet, because I think I could have taken a left up here, so I, I might as well go do that before I advance the plot. Also, I'm just going to quickly defeat everything, because nothing can stop me. I'm invincible. I got the counter ability. Uh, that is something from my uh, magic jar, my mimic Cheshire. Cheshire has the counter ability. No trouble at all. It's gonna make getting through things a lot quicker, which I, I I'm pretty fortunate and and very grateful for. I mean, it's gonna ca it's gonna make capturing mirages a bitch for a lot of the part where it's like you know you're trying not to kill something, but all of a sudden, bam, it's dead unfortunate but at the same time what could I say I also like the fact that Cheshire also has the no escape ability so it's a super unfortunate situation oh it looks like we got a Murfkin or a Murkriff Murf Murfkin is something else level 30 Murkriff there we go I'm getting everything comp Whoa! I'm ready when you are. Oh, these things are not good to encounter. Um forgot about these. Also, Gildum is pretty much a wall. Let's see, well if I was a smarter man and I'm not. Let's use uh let's what should I show off? Let, let's show off Tifa. When have I shown her off? You know, let, let's get some final heaven going on here. Hell yeah! Oh, that did it. That did it good. Alright. The problem with these guys, though... If I remember correctly... They can... 
They have an ability that makes them really annoying sand decor. That would be a terrible thing to get. The problem with them... Oh wait, no, no, no. Sand decor is their pre-evolution. They're a mimic colossus. Or whatever you call them. They're, they're meme. Meme colossus. Now the problem with them is they have an ability that pretty much negates physical damage, if I remember. So they're pretty annoying. Also, I'll be encountering them in the next area, which, oh boy. You might be thinking, man, that that would be a good that'd be a good mirage to actually get. I mean, it, it sounds good in theory, but I just remember them being kind of meh. Yeah, they, they do have that ability. Well, I don't want to deal with this, so let's uh, let's get Balthazar. Tides of fate, baby. Let's go. It's gone. It's on. They're gone. Mind if I drop in? <laughs> Just sit tight. That'll do. Oh, that, that, yes! Balthazar was the way to go with that. Alright, let's just annihilate them. Oh, we're not going to be able to... Nope, we can't annihilate them. They do have the Doom ability, god damn it. I wasn't sure if it was them or their side evolution or both, uh, I guess that both. So, bad. so if you run into those guys, they're going to use Doom. Granted, they didn't spam it, which is fantastic. Also... I can't carry any of what they gave me. I, I can't carry the spoils because I maxed out on them. Oh, the fire resistance. Okay. Well, for my money, I'm, uh... That's pretty good. Well, then I guess Cheshire will have to be there. Let's see. What else do we got? That's pretty good. That's not so good. Uh, Gallywicks. Let's get you in the mix. I don't have enough to do this. Damn it. I know who could do this. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? I'm thinking ahead. I'm just gonna use my miscellaneous seraphone item. I probably should have waited until now, but screw it. We're doing it right now. I'm just gonna get this going, and then I'm gonna bring out Ifri. That should be pretty good. This might be a little overkill, but at the same time, Ifri totally has the fire things I need to do the thing. Yeah, he has the resistance. I, I can feel it. Oh, yeah. He's got the six. Now we got it. Now we got it. There we go. Got we got the resistance. Then we just do this and yep, let's do it. Let's activate. If it looks a lot smaller for some reason, I don't know why, but it just looks a little bit smaller. That was a little bit bigger than that. That's all I'm saying. Now, you might be curious why did. Why well, was it a little strenuous to get through to the pathway, take here and the stuff? Um, we got a super rare mirage, which, granted, I'm not going to use, but I'm going to capture it. Next time. <laughs>